Oh no. I might have to edit this out. I might have to edit this out. They're out my door right now. They're outside my door. Get the fucking gun. Get the gun. Get the gun! What is up, y'all? This is Papa Scarce, and welcome to Adios. A game about something I don't know about because I didn't really research it. But it looked pretty fun. Maybe. Something to do with you're on a farm. And there's a mystery to be solved. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Open journal. Tell him I'm done. I'm done. I'm done rocking. Holy. The confession. Whoa. I can't do this anymore. What? This. What, mornings? Now, all of this. You mean the deal? Afraid so. What do you mean? You, you need better pay? Different hours? No, nothing like that. I'm just, you know, done with this. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. You wanna... You wanna... No? Yeah, sure. I wanna what? Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Here you go. How am I so, supposed to? You, uh, you're done, huh? Yep. Wait. You do understand what that means, right? I don't, but let me say it doesn't mean anything. Does it have to mean anything? It doesn't work like that. Hey. You know that. Man, I must be getting forgetful of my old age. Uh-huh. Nothing I can do to change your mind. Uh, nope. I'm afraid not. You're welcome to try. I guess you're welcome yeah, to you try. You are welcome to try. Hmm. Give me more meat. Pause. Well, let's go get some coffee. Talk things over. Come on. Oh, wow. Now I'm going to have to choose all the other... Oh. Yeah, I have no idea what this game's about at all. The breakfast. Mm-mm-mm. Smells delicious as always. Ah, Sadie was the real cook. Hey, don't sell yourself short. Not much that's better than your home-cooked eggs. Hope you don't mind. I left out the bell peppers this time. Mm, can't stand them. Me neither. Sadie liked peppers. No jalapenos? We need... Put jalapenos in them once. Ah! Oh, again. No. Uh, I don't know. That might be tasty. I love jalapenos. Mm, if you say so. Not Eat to with everything. change the subject, but how long have we been doing this for, you think? Fifteen years, just about. Ah. Uh, summer of 78. Wait. Why'd we meet? What was it? Uh, needed cash. Bill was sick. Needed, needed cash. Needed to scratch. What did you need to scratch for again? Wasn't too popular with the folks back home. 2003? Had to make ends meet. And Bill needed surgery you couldn't afford. Yes. It's 1993. Well, here's what I remember. I had a problem that night, and Jimmy was trying to help me solve that problem when who should come in through that door but you? Uh, I thought Jimmy... Yes? Uh, I may have been a little tipsy. <laughs> I drove you home that night. As you're so fond of telling me. Uh, Jimmy knew we could help each other, so he called up Tony... We agreed, made a deal. We all agreed. Ugh. Anyone ever tell you you're no good at making coffee? Sadie did. You Every did. Every time you visit. Thought you'd have got it better by now. Are we going to eat our omelet? Made the coffee. I made the bacon. Uh, it's good bacon. <laughs> you know, when I was a kid, I thought pigs were all pink with curly tails. Yorkshire's are. Mine a red waddle, American breed. Not a lot of them out there, you know. That's so. Mm -hmm. hmm. Always thought it'd be nice, you know, to raise pigs that was different. I had some Yorkies way back. Must have been, I don't know, before the service. Mm, long time ago. Service. Yeah, I'm an old man. <laughs> you and me both. So why the waddles? Huh. 
funny name. Like I said, American breed. Nearly went extinct. Thought I'd do my part to keep him alive. And that tastes good. <laughs> you aren't wrong. You know, the other day, I was reading the paper. Look at you, an intellectual. <sighs> it, maybe. Maybe. Mm. Anyways, I read that pigs were as smart as us. <laughs> You believe that? Slap soap. You going somewhere with this? I suppose so. Not particularly. I'll put... I suppose so. I suppose so. How smart do you reckon? Smarter than people. Smart as us. Smarter than a dog. I'll put smarter than people. I do believe I know pigs smarter than people. Smarter than people. a particularly people. high bar. Aw, uh, we ain't that smart. Do you think the pigs know? Know what? That they're food. Oh, pigs don't think like that. Hey. How do you know? Because I know pigs. Pigs ain't like us. Well, sure, they're smart. They eat, they sleep, but they do not plan. They don't think about the future. And I suppose you do? Every man does. Hmm. I think I'm just about finished up here. What do you say I, um... What do you Have say it. I accompany you today? Why'd you say it like that? What? Seriously? Put, help out with the farm chores? Shovel manure, milk goats, stuff like that? Sure. Always wanted to know how to milk goats. As long as you're okay mm. with shoveling manure first. What about your sidekick? Protégé. When I retire, he'll be the man you'll be dealing with. Hmm. Good guy. Smart. Discreet. Mm. Ambitious. Like you, I guess. But, uh, listen. I told you already. I'm quitting. We'll see. What? Is, are we gonna eat? Are we gonna eat our egg? I'm curious to see what's happening. Like, you need to eat. Look at that. You didn't eat nothing. You weigh like 50 pounds. Okay. Approaching scene. Huh. I've always wondered what was in this shack. Happy now. Figured it was. Just some old shack at first, but every time I ask what was in there, you haven't been forthcoming. I have not, no. Tried to take a look in the window once. <laughs> Did you now? It's humans. Enter the shack. Pull the cord. I'll pull it because it's probably light. Ta-da! Yep. Beautiful, right? The soda. Machines. Here I figured you had a deep, dark secret. <laughs> we have a deep, dark secret. This here is one of my hobbies. What, collecting them? Well, sure, I collect them, I guess, but that's not really the point. Is there a point to any hobby? Uh, it depends. What I meant was that it's no fun to just collect them. I, I fix them up. That's where the real fun is. Mm, that makes sense. Hmm. You got any hobbies? You look like you want to ask me something. Uh, you look like, uh... You look like you want to ask me something. Why pop machines? I like a good soda pop. And... The jump from that to having a bunch of machines in a blacked out shed? I used to work at the town library after Rude school. Bear. And uh, <clears throat> somebody thought it would be a good idea to put in a pop machine. 50, 51, thereabouts. Anyways, it was cantankerous as these things tended to be, especially back then. And Mrs. Uh, oh, Mrs. Olson, <laughs> she was the librarian at the time. Knew I was handy, asked me to fix it. And you've been fixing pop machines ever since. Hmm. Well, not exactly. Didn't think much of it for years until after some time I got back from overseas and uh, I was at this junkyard and I, I saw a Kruger Schmidt. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> a what? A Kruger Schmidt. Yeah, I jumble the words I know, probably uh, French or something. Kruger Schmidt. Sounds German. German. Yeah, that makes sense. Anyways, it looked so dilapidated that I just had to take it home and dilapidated. fix it. Of course, you know how the wife is. She just about threw a hissy fit. But I but I brought her to this here shed and got to work. Fixed her up real nice, hmm? Then what? Had myself a nice pop. <laughs> and then I sold it and figured that was all there was to it. Hmm. But then there was an auction in town and someone was selling a pair of vendos. Well, I figured, hey, I could fix that, too. Uh, and it snowballed from there. <laughs> that it did. But why? It relaxes me. 
I just, I don't know, soda machines. It's an unusual thing for a man to want to fix. Don't people get paid to fix them? It is unusual, hmm. but when the missus and I would get into fights or when things was bad or I was anxious, well, I'm, I don't know. Well, Sadie's sister, when she passed, told me that, uh, hmm. told me that it was all right to cry, that it wasn't weakness, that it was okay, and... I remember sitting there in that empty living room with everyone murmuring and telling me how sorry they were, and I didn't feel like I needed to cry. Didn't you miss her? Of course I did. Still do, but I don't know. Not everybody needs to cry. I don't need to cry. I don't get in that way, you know? Weakness? No. I don't know what she was talking about, weakness. Crying never felt weak to me. That's just not how I am. I can't remember the last time I cried. Maybe that movie about the boy and his dogs? Oh, always cry over that one. Yeah. Dogs are good. Innocent. Yeah, when a dog dies, that always moves me to tears. Me too, me too. But Josie insisted. Then she kept insisting. <clears throat> then, psh, I don't know, I think she got offended I wouldn't cry as if she loved Sadie more than me. And she made me feel like I was, that I was something wrong. Hmm. Of course, that wasn't true. There wasn't nothing wrong with me. I just didn't, I, I didn't, I wasn't like that. It wasn't what I needed. It wasn't how I needed to grieve. This is how I grieve. This right here. When I got a problem, I fix it. And when I fix it, I fix a little part of me. Makes sense. I don't know how or why, but it's healing. It's a healing thing, and that's why a man's got to have a hobby. That Sorry. is so true. No. No, it's all right. I, I figured, you know, I figured if someone's got to know, this is my quiet little hobby. A thing I do to help me work out my worries. Well, yeah, looks like you fixed this one up real nice. <laughs> I'm proud of it. It won't let me go all, this way. But I'm proud of this one most. Thank you for taking the time to show me. There's, a, there's another reason I wanted to show this to you. Mm, what's that? If you want it, it's yours. Really? <laughs> what am I going to do with a pop machine? Well, grab yourself a nice, refreshing drink of soda every right. so often, you big dummy. <laughs> Wait, I, 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 I couldn't possibly. Yeah. Please. A little memento of our time together. Oh, Come on, Memento. Let's keep this train rolling. We can work something out. You come on back by, pick up the soda machine. Take it home with you. Or don't. If you really got no use for it, I won't be offended. I'll think it over. Hmm. What's next? I'm curious. What are we doing? Tell them I'm done. Move the manure. Milk the goats. Feed the horse. Throw horseshoes. Check the shed. Move the manure, I guess. So we just leave? Oh. I could have opened the door the, the whole time. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna go over here. I'm curious. Something gotta be... Oh, I could jump? The story's gotta be leading somewhere. I wanna know what we do. What are they talking about? Did we do something illegal? The horseshoes. Why horseshoes? What? Hmm? Why not? Well, why not horseshoe? Doesn't it feel stereotypical? Well, look around you. My nearest neighbor lives <clears throat> ooh, half a mile down the road. It ain't the city. We don't have nightclubs and pool halls to go hang out at. Pool halls? What is this, 1890? This is 1992, oh. friend. We got shopping malls for teenagers, oh. restaurants, clubs, whatever. But pool oh. halls? I don't even know if they had those when I was a kid. Uh-huh. Well, time doesn't pass out here as quickly, I suppose. No need for all that, uh, stimulation. Ah, so stimulation. you play horseshoes. Mm -hmm. Got a or problem with a that? Good book? Develop photos you took for yourself? Go fly fishing? Mm -hmm. It sounds idyllic. Quaint, but idyllic. And you just want to give up this home-cooked paradise? Wait. I can't choose the other ones? I'm just so tired because it's wrong. It's wrong! Hmm. Hmm. What? 
That's lonely, too. We could get you a nice place in the city. Ah, never was one for crowds. I thought you said you were lonely. I'd be just as lonely in a crowd. Sadie, she, uh... What the hell? else could really see me. Understand what I was. How do you figure? I... Oh. Uh, wait. What? After Saigon... I gotta get back, one. All these people were hugging their loved ones or protesting come on, come on, or whatever. Come on. Ah. I don't know. I never felt more alone come in my oh! life. Oh! Almost at it. I was home. I should have been happy. And I wasn't. Ah. Well, it wasn't a popular war. You lost oh, friends, too. Ah. Yeah. But uh, I got home. Yeah. Come on, I gotta get one. It was dark and... So, were we in the army together? Is Wait that what it was? Army. Or Marines? Porch Who knows? light like a halo around her head. Come on. And I knew I wasn't alone anymore. One left. Hmm. One left. So you came back to your high school sweetheart. Yeah. I, I thought, oh, that I, I thought he'd have married her. Let me steal his. I didn't think she'd wait oh. for me. Why not? You're a handsome guy. I bet all sorts wanted you. Okay, I think I won. then. Women love a man in uniform. You see that house on the hill? Uh, what, the burned out one? Mm -hmm. I always wondered what happened there. Gary Gordon. Of the Gordon family. Went to high school with us. But, uh, well, most of us were farm folk. Sadie, her dad, he got was one the life. county judge, so for us, that's pretty high society. Hmm. The Gordons owned a lot of land, and all that passed to Gary after his ma died. In high school, he'd been our quarterback after his pa paid off the school, but ah, he wasn't a bad athlete. Good-looking guy? Oh, a real James Dean. And he had eyes for Sadie. A poor farm boy who couldn't play on the team versus the star quarterback? Shit, what kind of contest was that? Hey, uh, who wouldn't want all this? <laughs> Man, yet, when I came home, there she was. So, where was Gary? He served too? Ah, oh, Gary was too rich to serve. Star quarterback had some health exemption. Didn't get drafted. Uh-huh. <clears throat> so then, where was he? Running his dad's business. Trying to win her heart. <laughs> didn't work. So she was my wife and died? Well, she invited him to the wedding. Right. I didn't want him there, but, well, you know Sadie. Uh-huh. Oh! Well, he beat me? Gordon's he hacks, no. property around here, including the 200 acres no. surrounding that hill. Right. No. He, built a he house. cheated. A house. Wait. He cheated. That house? The very same. Looks like it was a mansion. It was. Why'd he build it? Nah, I don't know. To remind her what she'd given up, maybe. So, I can't move out of this area. What happened to the wealthy Gary Gordon in his mansion? Well, he built it one year. Must have been... 1966 or so, and he went inside, and he just uh, disappeared. Then one night, about a year later, there was a storm, and boom. No more Gary Gordon. Was I the storm? No more Gary Gordon. Huh. Oh, a horse. Maybe he was lonely, too. Maybe. Okay, so... Oh! <laughs> oh. <Come on. laughs> Guess this city slickers still got it. What's next? You... Cheater. Uh, wherever the road takes us. Dang, okay, so this is obviously a story-driven game. I didn't know what to expect. There's got to be some kind of... Ooh. El Camino. I'm trying to check out a lot of stuff over here. Oh. What's over here? Aw, oh, thought we were about to get something. Let's continue on. <clears throat> Let me go up here. Okay. Yeah, so we served. Our wife died and... The horse. Don't you own a tractor? What? What's that got to do with anything? What's that got to do with anything? Well, pigs I get, goats too. Some fellas have chickens and cows, and that's all well and good, but what's the point Aww. of a horse? Horses. 
are God's most beautiful creatures. <laughs> what, you just keep a horse around because they're beautiful? Horses belong on farms. Uh-huh. Ah, you know you haven't got a saddle for him, so you don't ride him. Hmm. He's no racehorse. Can't eat him. What's the point? Well, I don't see the point in a farm without a horse. Gotta have a horse. Uh, Gotta have a horse. And what's this about them being beautiful? Beautiful. I told no. you. Beautiful, he says. Spindly legs and bloated bellies and those weird, weird teeth. Oh. Sleep standing up. Who sleeps standing up? Something wrong with that. Aren't you going to say something? They're beautiful. What are you talking about? Shh, 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 shh. Down in the One comments, day. do you guys think horses are beautiful One or not? Day, maybe I do. Maybe this will understand. There yeah, exactly. <laughs> There you go. You pet him. Uh, to me, I mean. I keep apples here because he likes them. Likes the salt lick, too. Want to feed him one? Uh, nah, I'm good. Come on. Oh. You can have Suit it yourself. all. All right, here you go, boy. No, no, I got to get going. Why don't you walk on out to pasture rest a spell? Oof. Horses give me the willies. Can't see why. Okay, so we need move the manure and milk the goats. I'm wondering what, well, obviously, if you pick different answers, you get different dialogue because someone won't let you choose. We're just gonna, we'll go right here. <clears throat> the shovel. What's the wheelbarrow for? Hauling. Hauling what? Fertilizer, manure, shit, cow pies. Let's be civil about this. Cow pies. Cow pies. Cow pies? Proverbially. And what are we supposed to do with this crap? We are going to fertilize. Well, not now, it's October, but we're going to put it in a nice big pile where it belongs. Uh, we? Well, yeah. You'd say you wanted to help. I was just about to say. Yeah, guess I did. You so didn't help? even eat my eggs. Pick up that shovel over there. We'll shovel it in, wheel it out, dump it, and we're good. And you do this every day? Mm-hmm. Most every day. And you want to keep doing this every day? It's my routine. Shoveling shit? Someone's got to do it. For <laughs> real. That, uh, that isn't the first time you've told me that. <clears throat> you city boy. Oh, yeah? You wouldn't yeah. know nothing about this. Yeah. Vietnam. You know, I did some digging on you, personally, not the shit kind. Know what I found? Uh, I reckon you'll tell me. You went back. Ah. What happened that day in the valley? You saw the report. I'm not gonna talk about it. Come on. Hard worker. No. Suit yourself. You got a medal. You didn't have to go back. I had a wife and kid here in a time where most of us were trying to figure out how to stay home. You went back. You go oh. somewhere with this? There's the grave right there. Be fun if you I didn't see that. While we're shoveling shit. I was recon. You know that, I reckon. I was in the hospital, staring at the ceiling. Magazines next to me on the bed. And I... Where's my shovel? I had this, uh... Moment. A moment of clarity. A revelation. Uh-huh. <clears throat> In the revelation, guess I gotta this. go get my shovel. Them protesters weren't doing a damn thing. The, the hippies and the, the bands weren't changing anything. You know who was? Uh, the Vietnamese? The Russians? No. What? No. The news. You hit someone hard enough day in, day out with the realities of war, That's pretty where you soon go they'll next. tire of it. Vietnam? That was our first time that close to war. So. Mm. I figured, uh, you figured you ain't the only one of us who's killed people. Mm, why do you think I offered you that job back in 74? Turned oh. it down for the same reason I went back. They were telling us our patriotic duty was to go and fight for our country. Well, that's what I did. You weren't recon when you went back there. Went back with a camera. Talked them into letting me help with the press, keeping them safe and all that. So I did. And I took pictures. Took all the pictures I could. Hmm. I fought in a different way. Did you win? 
We pulled out a name, didn't we? Mm -hmm. Hmm. And now you're here. Great big war hero. Shuffling shit. Hey, listen. I don't like Shuffling the tone shit. and disgrace in my job, okay? Milk the goats. I like farm work. I think it's very... I don't want to say peaceful. More like a... I don't know. I think it's rewarding in a way. You're like doing your own thing. If that makes sense. The goat. You know, back home they Can't call go you in there. the pig farmer. That description is apt. And yeah, you also <clears throat> have goats. I do also have goats. And a horse. And I had a dog. Tried cows once. Oh. Bill raised a neuter or something, but uh, Need some water. died. Well, most people have. I don't know, chickens and cows. You got goats. Hmm. Is that uh, judgment I hear? I've been hearing judgment all day from <laughs> no you. Judgment? No. Uh, just wondering, why goats? Goat milk. Ah, there can't be much profit in that. Well, there's enough. Besides, I had you. Have. You still have. As I've said, I'm no longer interested in that particular revenue stream. Hmm. We're the ones who sever ties. And you don't want us severing ties. What? I believe I made myself Wait, clear. is that a threat? <laughs> I feel like we've had this conversation a couple of times now. And you still don't seem to get that I'm done with this line is just going to look really silly at the end of the day. Whoa. You were asking me about goats. Yeah, goats. I don't like them. They like to play. They'll eat just about anything. The milk's an acquired taste, but I've always liked the cheese. Meat's good with the right curry. A friend mm. taught me that a while back. So, you like them for the utility? I like them because they're playful. Want to get started? I thought you were started. good at Milk. first. Yeah. Sit. Wait. Sit? I can't... I can't go anywhere. Okay. I had to restart the scene. I didn't know it you gave know, me that option. Home they call you the pig farmer. Want to get started? Hmm? Started? Milking. Oh, hey, really? <laughs> I've always wanted to try that. Well, here's your chance. My goats are smart. They know what's up, so they'll just walk up. Mm, here they are. Come on. Now they'll just take their positions here like they should. Got feed all ready for him. Just uh, you take a seat there. Uh, hmm. Uh, not very comfortable. <laughs> mm, suppose not. Well, now that we're seated, all you got to do is grab the teat with your thumb and forefinger and pull. I'd no, restart. No, no, don't pull. Is the game glitched sort of out? Rhythmically squeeze with the rest of your fingers, gently pushing the milk out. Uh. Like this? <laughs> Just like that, yes. All you gotta do is do that till the goat's out of milk. Huh. This is kind of nice. I found it relaxing. Well, I think I could get used to this. Mm, why don't you? Say what? Why not get used to this? What, and come work with you? Sure. <laughs> yeah, some folks might take issue with that. Mm, can't make everybody happy. Better than end up shot. Better than end up shot. Shoot him. Do I kill him? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gun down. Life over just like that. I usually get to shoot back. Well, we all wind up dead in the end, don't we? So what are we doing? As as I'm like a secret well, agent What good or is that? Living? What Informer? good is living if you ain't happy? He says I'm not happy. Well, I'm not. You could be. I don't think I could. Well, that does it for the goats. I didn't know goats just come up Still, like uh, that. Still thinking about what I've been saying? I haven't stopped. Changed your mind? No. No, I have not. He threatened me earlier. I'm like, I know the story's starting off slow, but I, the tree. I'm just curious about what's going to happen. At you the know end. what this is? A uh, tree? Well, have you ever seen a tree like it? Uh, 
A tree. This is where tree. we bury Sadie. Remember all them roasted chestnuts I'm guessing. at Christmas? Ah, oh, sure, sure. My late I mean, wife. I kind of figured. Been by often enough to see the chestnuts myself. Why? Whoa! Is special to you? This is an American chestnut tree. Uh-oh. Oh, no. hey, Saul. Uh, he's telling us about his American chestnut tree. American, huh? Boy. They all died. What? <laughs> you got the... You how, how does your body hey, hold that small head? Like the American Pause. chestnut. Um, I, I, I'm a little lost here. Oh, a couple weeks back, Saul came by, said you couldn't make it. Business as usual. Saul had a bucket of chestnuts, asked if pigs could eat them, so we got to talking and I told him about chestnuts. Uh-huh. And what did you learn? Pork tastes better with chestnuts. And most American chestnuts had died off. It's true. Long before you or I was born, Long before. the American chestnut was prized for the quality of its wood. Jimmy'd like that. Oh, that he would, that he would. But this tree, there ain't many like it left. American chestnuts almost all died out because of the Asian fungus around 1900 or so. The chestnut blight. That's mm. what, like a couple hundred thousand trees? Oh, billions. Four billion trees mm. snuffed out practically overnight. Well, lumberjacks suddenly out of work in places like West Virginia. Those economies never recovered. I uh, thought West Virginia was coal country. Logging, too, before it all died off. Now there's trees like the General here making nuts year-round. And I feed them to the Reds, and they grow nice and fat and tasty. Hmm. Seems lonely. Well, it is lonely. Heartbreakingly lonely. To know everyone else you ever loved has passed on. So... I look after him, and he looks after me, and I don't know. Well, Sadie and I, we, we talked about being yep. buried here, you know. Changed your mind? Hmm. Brody's grave was enough for me, but uh, I don't know. I thought about having to move. Brody's? I, I don't, uh, I don't know. You've got plenty of years left in you yet. So, what's the moral of the story? With the, the trees, I mean. Be wary of outsiders. Heck no. There are trees out there that are blight resistant. Maybe even the general here, but I'm too afraid to find out. With enough time and horticultural understanding, we could have done something. Preserved all these trees? Maybe we could have. They are magnificent. Mm. It's just... It's just a... I don't know. I wasn't trying to teach you a lesson or anything. I just... But you did make a point of it. I did do that. I just... It's a part of me is all. And God willing to live for a hundred more years. I'm... I don't know. I see myself as a custodian of sorts. And one day I'm... I just... So I'll go ahead and... Wait for me at the van. Hmm? Mm. My guy's very lonely. Hey. Oh, no. Hey. Look. Look at me. You're thinking about dying. Thinking you can pass this responsibility off to someone else. You don't have to do this. Give the tree another decade of your time. Well, the time of my demise is sad. Someone ought to know about the tree. Jimmy'd love to know about this. Oh, Jimmy would cut it down. <laughs> he would. Please. Who's Jimmy? Don't tell him. Hey, I'm good at keeping secrets, but... Jimmy's Jimmy. Please. Let me rest here. Hmm. If there's a way... A way to... Oh, I don't know. Okay, okay. Hey, you got more to show me, right? Well, I'm curious now, like, what's the end game to the... Oh, okay. The way. I knew this building was going to be used for something. The garage, huh? No tour would be complete without the garage. I have to ask, why a sports truck? I think they're called coupe utility, but, uh... You mean, why not a sports car? Sports yeah. truck? I mean, I always figured you'd have a midlife crisis like the rest of us. 
Sports car, motorcycle, an affair, or something this... like that. Couldn't really say why I love these so much. Saw mine one day, fell in love. With that. Mm-hmm. Had yeah, to that's El Camino. <laughs> I'll admit, it has a charm to it. But she won't run. What? No? Well, pop the hood. Let's take a look. You're serious? Sure. Already had my midlife crisis. <laughs> Motorcycle? Sports car. And these puppies, well, you know, they're similar enough. Some what? of them even use the same engine. We can figure this out. Guys. Yeah. Leave in the comments. Leave in the yeah. comments if you Let's think uh, okay. an El Camino is that drop light? considered a no, sports I truck. There were... I would have never said that. Attach the drop light to the hood. Sure thing. Huh. Thank you. Saul's a good kid. Hmm? What's that? Saul was a good kid. I like him. It was nice him coming by. Yeah? That's good to hear. Never met anyone with so much promise. Never? In my entire life. Saul's dad was a good man. Didn't think his kid had it. As a boy, he was too soft. But then he got older, graduated college really came into his own. Eager. More capable than he knows. Hmm. Great listener. <laughs> Can you believe we were his age once? <laughs> Hard to admit. When I was young, I thought I knew everything. Mm. Yeah? And now? Today I learned from you and him about chestnuts. Well, I learned something new every day, I suppose. You check the spark plugs? Mm. Give me a second. Uh, what about your boy? Bill? Oh, he's fine, I guess. What you? <laughs> you guess? Yeah, hey, how old is he again? Mm, born in 60, so, uh... 32, as of September. Huh. So it's... Roy would have been about 1992? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Well, what's this about you and Bill? Oh, he don't want to talk to me no more. What, Bill? Toe-headed little guy, always friendly and outgoing. That Bill? It's, uh... It's about Sadie. Ah. Yeah. Hey, mind if I ask you a completely unrelated mm. question? Mm. What's with the airplanes at your neighbor's place? Oh, Chuck's farm. Chuck? Huh. Yeah, what's with all the planes? There's no runway around here. Uh, you know how farmers are. Hey, have you checked the air filter? Yeah. And, yeah, I know how you are. You got plenty of junk, too. But I've never seen anyone else with, uh, uh, what are they, World War II bombers or something? I think he has a B-36. Oh, dang. No kidding. You got no idea what a B-36 <laughs> is, have you? Yeah, have the foggiest. Well, a B-36 is a big old bomber made out of magnesium. Biggest America ever had. Took two train tankers to fill one up. And you could fly from Monday to Thursday without refueling. So why does Chuck have one in his mm. backyard, plus all the others? I asked him about that once. Hmm. Okay. Wire's loose here. Where? Right there. Where's there? So, what'd he say? Oh, uh... <laughs> dead navigator came to him in a dream. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Dead navigator from the Korean War came to him in a dream, said the planes were in danger of being lost, and it was up to Chuck to save them. So, Chuck's crazy. <laughs> well, eccentric, maybe, but, uh, well. Do you believe in ghosts? If I did, I'd have a different job. Huh. Why, do you? Well, I figure we all move on in some way. Energy is neither created nor lost and all that. So you're saying a dead navigator came to a farmer in the middle of nowhere, no <clears throat> offense, and told him that it was his job to preserve airplanes? Yep. So now there's a bunch of planes on a crazy coot's farm. Man, he Call keeps me a crazy coot. Can you think of a better place for him to be? Hmm. Well, want to try running it? Let's do it. Sure. sure. All right. Start the car from the driver's side door. Oh, turn over, you son of a bitch. Hey. It looks like she'll give you a few more years yet. <coughs> yeah. Remember Slick? 
Sure. He always wanted one of these. Where is he now? Fighting Saddam. Jimmy tried to find out. Classified, I heard. Oh, dang. Good kid. Angry. Well, maybe when he gets back... Uh, Thinking of giving him the car is, what, thanks for his service? I never wanted to be thanked for mine, but that boy's seen more hurt than any of us. Deserves better than that old Pinto is. <laughs> yeah. Well, where to next? I have no idea. <clears throat> oh, the shotgun. Shotguns, huh? I always liked shotguns. Liked? Still do. I don't know how long I this like game is, but myself. when it's for sport, got a few of those. I wonder yeah, where yeah, it's leading to. Big slab-sided ones. They have a a charisma. What'd you say? What about you? Ah, uh, nothing special, really. 357s when I can. Can I shoot him? But this is a shotgun. I almost want to yeah. try. Figured we could shoot some skeet. Skeet. Taught Bill to shoot this way. Bro. You're a good father. Could have been better. Name a father that couldn't. So, how do we do this? Uh, who's going first? Oh, I almost want to shoot him. I'll go first. I'll go first. All right, then. Hm. This is more my speed. Hanging out. Shooting guns. Maybe a few beers next oh. time. I'm not sure guns and beers mix, friend. Oh, sure oh. they do. Like peanut butter and oh. chocolate. That's not. Mm. Next time. Trust Dang me. It. Next time. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's always. Yeah. You didn't know I had a shot like that, huh? After today, we are done. Ooh. I keep trying to tell you. Keep trying to tell you. There is no out. You keep doing this. You never do anything again. Permanent. Kaput. What? And it's kaput. I don't mean it. If that's the way it's got to be. Woo! No. You listen to the word I've said. I've been listening. I've been listening all morning. I've been listening to you talk about being sad and lonely and I'm refusing to, to listen to reason. I have my reasons. Your reasons aren't any good. But they're mine. Walk me to my car. Uh-oh. I'm gonna try to shoot you next time. Uh oh, seems like we're coming to the end. I wonder if they're gonna kill me. The goodbye. So, this is it. I want to know what the job yeah. is. Why? Why are you doing this? Because I need to. We're friends, goddammit. You don't get to get all stoic on me. I know losing her was hard, but there's gotta be something. Gotta be. I can't take care of the farm like I used to. There isn't much point anymore. So sell the farm. Move into the city. Meet someone new. Do you believe in hell? Huh? Do you believe in hell? I'm not scared of hell, if that's what you mean. I didn't ask if you were scared. I asked if you believe. I don't know. Well, I do. And I think... <laughs> I think doing this. Hmm. I think that's where I'm headed. And why? You think you can buy your way into heaven? I can't take back what I've done. What I can do is do something right. Why? Because I want to see her again. Wow. That's all. I just want to see her again. And I figure... I'll do one right thing with my life. Just one thing. Maybe I'll get to see her again. One more time. And this is your one right thing. It is. How do you know? How do you know if any of this is true? I don't know. But I got the notion. And the notion's got me. Why does your head look square in the reflection? least I can do is uh, tell you adios. He said it. Like adios. What else is there to say? Not much, I guess. No. All right, then. 
Have it your way. What? I'll be back this evening. You get an afternoon. You get an afternoon? Do whatever you gotta do. Just, uh... What? Leave the door unlocked. What? I can do that. What? Adios, friendo. Be seeing ya. Am I... He coming to kill me? What's going on? Am I killing myself? It can't end like this, guys. Be seeing you. It better have something more than this. Oh, oh, thank you. Okay. Okay. We gotta go down. Whoa, there's two options. Okay. Going down to the cellar. Oh no. What was the other thing? The fish. Catch Admiral. Hmm, okay. Patience. Wait. I heard a t Come on. Oh. <coughs> yeah. <sighs> nice catch. Catch Admiral this time. Okay. Come on. Come on, come on. <sighs> nice catch. Maybe the next bite. Something's gonna happen. Am I gonna get shot in the back of the head? I'm looking. Hold on. Uh, I'm. This is. I'm feeling uneasy. Feeling very uneasy for some reason. Okay, so we're gonna keep going until. Let me go far. This makes me feel real uneasy. What the heck? Catch Admiral, surely Catch. now. Why do I feel so uneasy? Come on. Gotta be you. <sighs> Where is this Admiral? Catch Rama, how many of these things are there? Let me go this way. Why do I feel like something's gonna happen? There's no way. What? Just about empty now. Okay. I hear something. I hear something. Put Admiral in the cooler. Ooh, nice catch. Ooh, nice catch. Check on the horse. Call the boy. Call the boy. Call the neighbor. Yes, that scared me a little bit. I think I just heard the wind. We're going to check on Horsey right here. Man, I hope we don't kill ourselves. The horse part two. Come on. All right. Come on now. Come on now. That's a good boy. Feed the apple to the horse. Come on. Bring you an apple. Granny Smith, just like you like. Good boy. Good boy. You okay. were real good to me. You know that? Mm-hmm. Brought me a lot of good luck. Good times. I'm gonna kill myself, aren't I? Without you? Can I choose not to? I, uh, yeah. I do not know. I want to thank you. I want to thank you for all you done. Gonna go ahead and leave the barn door open behind me when I go. You want to leave, you go find someone else. Hmm. I figure I'll just, uh, I'll leave you to it. 
Wow. This is gonna be sad. How do I call the boy? Call the boy. Call the neighbor. Call the boy or call the neighbor. I'm gonna call my son. I'm, I'm guessing that's what it means by boy. Where's the phone? Kettle. Where is my phone in my darn house? Ooh, I'm scaled like that? This fucking thing? Bro, how you gonna scare me like that? I've looked everywhere. I, oh, right there! Oh my gosh. Uh... Oh, Bill. That's what I do. Huh. Thought I'd actually put the numbers in. Come on, come on, come on, pick up. The boy. Just pick up. Dad? Bill. Yes. Hi. Well, now how'd you know it was me? Caller ID. I, I don't know. Yeah. What that is. It's new. Tells me who's calling. Huh, that's, uh, that's some real fancy stuff you got there. Uh huh. Listen, Aww. I'm busy. Why are you calling? I missed you. Please don't hate me. Oh, I can't choose the other ones. Hmm. hmm. Or, uh, just, uh... Hopefully, I won't kill myself. And whose fault is that? Can we just talk? I should have... Should have let hmm. her go. I... Can't we just... Can't we talk? What is there to say? Hi, son. How are the grandkids? How are they? Oh, by the way, I put your mom in a rest home so I could stay there and take care of my goats and my pigs and my stupid horse. Because, God forbid, I actually look after my uh, sick wife. That's not fair. You put her in a home. You decided she wasn't good enough for you, and you put her in a home. I, mm. no, I, I didn't know what to do. The doctors there, they would. How hard could it be? Alzheimer's isn't some terrifying boogeyman. It wasn't it you who told me to stay with the ones you love, no matter what? So, what? You didn't love her anymore? That's not fair. Don't you dare. You gave her up. You gave her up to doctors and nurses. You know what they do to people in homes. It was the best home money could buy. Money. You and your damn money. Man. Cared more about being a rich pig farmer than the people you were supposed to love. I did everything hey. for you, too. I loved you both. I did everything for you, everything. Yeah, right. Bill, I, I, I didn't want this call to... You wanted to put my mom in a home. So I'm not sure what you want matters. B B Bill, well, Bill, Bill I, just, I just called to say... Say what? Sorry? Did you know I visited her? I found out where you put her. Wow, we're gonna I kill ourselves. Her. Uh, they man. said you visited sometimes. She was my wife, Bill. She cried, Dad. She cried. Wow. She wept and she sobbed and she kept asking me where you were. She was so scared, Dad. She was so scared. She wanted you to take her home. The doctor said sometimes she was lucid, but I couldn't. She was lucid, Dad. And I held her hand as she sobbed herself to sleep. And I kept holding her hand until they told me I had to go. Where were you? Taking care of your precious chestnuts? Feeding your heritage breed pigs? No, 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 Bill, Bill, I... Save it. Mm. Talk to your goats or your pigs or whatever it is you do. I just want to tell you goodbye, Bill. Wow. I love you, Bill. I love you more than I ever can mm. say. If I could tell you, if I could only tell you. Mm. It won't let me. I just wanted to t tell you goodbye, Bill. I I've got some of your stuff all boxed up. If you wouldn't mind coming by in a few days to pick it up. We'll see. Goodbye, son. You'll never make this right, Dad. 
I'm still trying. Oh, that's sad. They're gonna find my dead body. Hello. Hey, Edie. It's. Oh, hey you. How are you doing? Mm -hmm. You know, I was just talking about you with Garth the other day. I said, Garth, you know we ought to visit. Yeah, uh, uh, Edie, listen. Uh, I don't mean to interrupt. It's just a. Uh, 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 I'm on a tight schedule, and uh, uh, I need you to do me a favor, all right? A favor? Take care of my sure. animals. What you need? Uh, I'm going to be out of town for a few days. Oh? Finally taking my advice and visiting family? Can you take care of the animals? I was uh, oh, wondering if you and Garth could make sure the animals were fed and watered, you know, that kind of thing. Oh, sure, sure. We ain't got much going on. Thanks, Edie. Listen, uh, I, uh, uh... Evan! Evan! What are you doing? Get down from there! The heck? Sorry. Cats. <laughs> anyway... Never mind. Would you mind taking care of the animals? Goodbye, I was saying goodbye. Yeah, yeah, the animals. Uh, I got them fed and watered for today. They should be good for tomorrow, too. B but if it's too much of an imposition... Not at all, not at all. Mm. We're happy to be imposed upon. You've been to a be good neighbor upon? for so long. I'm glad you called me today. In fact, just the other day, I said to Garth, I said, if we Thank don't visit, it, then hey, you should drop <laughs> on by next Saturday afternoon. We're going out to the Harvest Festival with the grandkids, and I know how lonely it's been, what with Sadie gone and all. You should come with us. I, well, I appreciate the thought, Edie. I don't think I'll be back in town by then, though. Sorry. Oh, that's too bad. It's been real nice seeing you coming back to church again. Oh, wow. it's, uh... It's been real nice being welcomed back. But now I gotta go. You know, chores and such. You know how it is. Oh, I sure do. Well, come on over sometime. Just got some gooseberries in. We're making pies, and we'd love to have you. I know they're your favorite. <laughs> that they are. Wow. Gotta go now. We're gonna die. See ya. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh man, the dog. Hey, you, Brody. Brody, how you been? Sit down. I know I don't drop by as much as I ought. I ain't got an excuse. I remember we had good times. I still remember when I picked you up. Bill hadn't been himself lately, and I wanted him to. I don't know, I wanted him to smile again. Oh, he saw you and I could see that spark in his eyes. Boy was still mad at me, though. And I guess he had a right to be. Mm. You? <laughs> you he loved. And I think he came around on me, too. For a time. Pat the grave, listen to the wind. Good boy. Oh. Good boy. That's you sad. Know something, Brody? I always, I always believe dogs go to heaven, cause me too. All dogs is fundamentally good, now, even the mean ones. They're good too. They're just, you know, hurt or starving or you know, sick or scared. So uh, I know where you are, and I know Sadie's probably with you right now. I done wrong, Brody. I done a lot of wrong. Mm. And I don't know if I can make up for it. I want to tell you I'll see you soon, but the truth is I do not know. Wow. I don't know if I was good enough for you. Or her. I don't know if I did my best. So, uh, uh this may be good. This is sad. And, And I miss you all the same. The voice acting is good in this. Like, I know it's story driven and there's not much going on. And I'm not talking a lot because I don't want to cut them off. But, oh, no. 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 What are we doing? 
steak cook. Steak, chop, cook. Oh, no. Guess we're cutting it on the ground. Uh, we got a <clears throat> stock, carrot chop. Okay, that's how we're going to do it. Okay. Whoa. What the heck was that? Let me... <sighs> Because we'll do it like this then. And my, maybe if we cook, it'll give us longer time, you know? Oh no, I lost the knife. I lost the knife. I lost the knife. I lost the knife, guys. Uh... I don't know. Can I turn on? I don't know. I cooked the whole worst meal, final meal of my life. Place the meal. Dining room table setting. Dining room table setting. Get the shot. Oh my gosh. No. Oh no. Oh no. Wow. Why a shotgun? I man, I want my brains to just be spilled over everything. Oh no. I might have to edit this out. I might have to edit this out. Oh well. They're here. They're here. They're here. They're here. Can I at least shoot them? Give me the gun. Give me the gun, guys. They're out my door right now. They're outside my door. Get the fucking gun! Get the gun! Get the gun! Wow. It didn't let me get the gun. Okay, guys. That was adios. Yeah, I know it's story driven. There wasn't much. I just wanted to play a chill game. Sometimes I got to. I've been playing a lot of horror games. There's some games coming up that. Real, real good game. Surprising that. I'm going to be posting soon, but wow, I didn't know the game was going to end up like that. I, w I want to know what we were in. Were we the Secret Service, like Special Ops or something? They had suits on, so I'm guessing some kind of, you know, secret organization, but man, I just wish it let, why did it have me pick up the gun? And I didn't, it couldn't let me, I, I tried, I tried pressing on it and it wouldn't let me. That'd be cool if they let me try to defend myself. But I don't know why I had the gun right there. But, wow. It's a good story-driven game. Adios. Alright. Not much to... I could scene select, but I think we're just going to leave it there. Because I don't know much else we could have done. I mean, there is some... If we choose different from the beginning, but... I'd have to go all the way to the beginning. Uh, but let me know if you guys had different outcome if you played it i'd like to know what happens if you pick something else but that's gonna do it for this one guys uh more to come and if you like it drop a like subscribe to the channel and i guess all i could say is audio